99% of the people I see in the entrepreneur space who are not having results, it's because they don't, they don't dive into the details enough. Uh, they're not ready for it. They haven't earned it. They haven't worked hard enough. They haven't studied hard enough. Uh, and that's it. Anyone else that I've seen who has put in the time and the work and the effort and mastered a skill set so that they could literally write a book about it is doing great. What do you see as the most common denominator of people who sort of get stuck in that failure or start restart mode and just kind of never quite get there versus the ones that actually eventually succeed? I'm sure you have a good pulse on both. Uh, a couple of things. Success is always in the details. Mm -hmm. So everybody that I know, myself included, who has found success online has been at one time or another incredibly OCD about acquiring these skill sets. Meaning when I was learning copy, again, I was in, in my room handwriting out sales letters or, or video transcripts for an hour, two hours a day for over a year. And that's how I learned to copy, but that's what I was willing to do. Most people will never, ever, ever, ever do that. Uh, same things when it goes to writing a sales page or writing a headline or an ad. I'll write, you know, I'll spend an entire day at my screen like this, probably with my head down on the desk just going through copy ideas and scenarios in my head for eight or nine hours a day. And I yeah. might get three paragraphs that day. The next day it might flow and I might get three or four pages. Uh, it might take me a week where I'm sitting here at eight hours a day, just banging my head against the table, trying to come up with the right angle for my sales presentation. And most people will never do that. But the success is found in the single wor right word for the headline or the single right word for the ad. Uh, it's paying attention to every single detail on the page, the formatting, the font, is it easy to read? Is it clear? Does it make sense? Is the flow, you know, does it have as little friction as possible as far as the checkout process goes? Is it confusing at all to anyone? And that's the stuff that I've just obsessed over. And I think you have to, when it comes to this industry, and if not, then you have to do it like you do with your show. You're absolutely obsessive when it comes to the shows that you produce and your preparation for them and all of that stuff. So 99% of the people I see in the entrepreneur space who are not having results, it's because they don't, they don't dive into the details enough. Uh, they're not ready for it. They haven't earned it. They haven't worked hard enough. They haven't studied hard enough. Uh, and that's it. And so anyone else that I've seen who has put in the time and the work and the effort and mastered a skill set so that they could literally write a book about it is doing great. Success, I mean, skills, skill acquirement is the, is the tool set that empowers you to take action, but that action is going to be effective action. It's going to produce a result. That result produces a positive feedback loop. It gives you confidence. It gives you momentum, gives you inspiration. It just feeds your soul. And then you just, you just get into momentum and it's just awesome from there. Um, so yeah, I would say that's the single biggest thing is, is not going deep enough, especially today, because we didn't have social media. I wasn't being distracted by YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, I was, I was going through that. three think, ring binders and books. Do you think a lot of people are distracted or maybe watch a couple of videos and then confuse themselves into thinking maybe they're good <laughs> at that skill set? Do you think there, there's a lot of that going on? Uh, people get confused between learning and busy, busy consumption. Sure. Meaning you're going to learn a lot from this interview, but you're not going to master a skill through this interview right. or any interview. And right. so what I unfortunately see happening is people are watching Gary Vee videos on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. And great, there's little nuggets of wisdom and all of that stuff, sure. but they're not going to give you the depth of education. You need to take an effective action and get a result. Listen up. Have you ever listened to an inspiring story or interview or podcast like this and thought to yourself, man, I wish I could share my story with the world. Whether it's your brand, your product, your service, or your business that you believe can inspire others just like this, we want to hear from you. Our team at The Passionate Few is now hosting live interviews. All you have to do is click the link in the bio and fill out a short questionnaire, and you never know, you may just be the next Passionate Few. So I'll let you get back to this incredible interview, but don't forget to apply right after.
Hey you, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to smash that subscribe button right now. And also, if you're an epic entrepreneur, thought leader, expert, and you wanna be interviewed on the show, the same way we've interviewed over $10 billion worth of entrepreneurs and reached millions of people, then all you have to do is click the link below right now and fill out the questionnaire to see if you'd be a good fit to be interviewed on The Passionate Few. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click any of these videos as well. If you thought this video was epic, these videos will blow your mind. Until next time, live strong, live with passion, and thank you for being one of the passionate few. I'll see you in the next video.